facing this time. Real Ordeal stepped away well and so too did Tinder and Alderain came out hum humming with spot on spud and they'll posse up wings the bend in front over in close attendance spot on spud followed by unconditional Dyrus is making heavy weather it down the outside is spending my time spot on spud moved up on the outside of Alderain spot on spud got to the lead got away from Alderain later spending my time but spot on spud's too good spot on spud beats spending my time Every man needs a good shave before he goes to work. Sorry. Doesn't taste good. <laughs> Susanna thinks I'm really crafty <laughs> and so she threw a Hail Mary at me but uh, they're laughing because he's my favorite because he's the dorkiest. His name is even Norton, you know, but he's really cute. He does cute things. Oh, what you got there? What is this? What is this, a bite? He's been waiting for me to find that spot. Oh, my Lanta. Oh, my goodness. What is it? Norton. I was heading up to Northwestern for a conference, and I wanted to check on five Secretariat Center horses that were there, and you know, just a lovely situation. I had not seen old Doc, who last raced on January 3rd of this year. He was a quite a good racehorse. He won about $107,000, but as often happens, they tend to get older, and he kind of spiraled down in class and he was in a very cheap claiming race in Louisiana and the trainer just put him on a trailer and he ended up in a kill pen in Texas and through a network of very concerned individuals we were approached about taking him on and we we did and we had the privilege of sort of reschooling him and he was so grateful and so kind and so good with children. We used him a lot for uh, tours and demonstrations. They thought, oh, he really needs a job as a lesson horse. So when Danielle Turner of the ranch reached out and said, do you have any other horses? I said, oh, I think this one would be really special. think he's you know a social worker he's all about don't worry don't worry it's all gonna be okay and you saw him yeah. he was a gem so this little horse when he came to us was really um, not was hardly broke he was opinionated and um, fun-loving and just green and when Danielle came, she kind of fell in love with him. I did. I'm a chestnut I mean, lover. Yeah. Um, and I said, well, he's green and opinionated and a little bit silly and a little bit naughty. And I hope he never loses the twinkle in his eye because he's the kind of horse that once he learns the job and learns the rules, which clearly he is doing and 
has grown quite a bit. He will be always interesting to ride and uh, really fun for the right person because he'll always test you, but he'll never be evil. You make everybody smile. That's such a gift. Yeah, it is. It's such a gift. You make everybody smile. So cute. Mm -hmm. Oh, I say it again. <laughs> say it again. You make everybody smile. Like, yes, you do. Yes, you do. He's adorable. Sterling Thunder after uh, beginning last is now whipping around the field four wide and will be in front in a second. The odds on favourite, Sterling Thunder, has now taken the lead and gets out by two and a half. 70 yards to go and Sterling Thunder is going to be too good here. Sterling Thunder goes on to score by about four lengths over real tough stuff. And I mean, he was just standing in his stall in his own muck and all that, you know, and with not even able to stand on his own leg. Like, how do you turn that down? They told us at Mountaineer that they're not allowed to put horses down. The vets won't do it for them. So even if that was perhaps the most responsible thing for this horse in the state that he was currently in, the owner couldn't afford to keep him. Yes. He had an active injury. So that left Sterling stuck in this awful situation and probably would have been sent to auction, public auction, if we hadn't yeah. stepped in to save him. Um, so he's kind of our sob story, but you know, there's plenty of really awesome stories in the barn too of very responsible owners and trainers who always do the right thing. He really doesn't like to be held onto in his face. After galloping this morning and stuff like that too. Horses with knees or injuries like that that happen catastrophically are like, they gallop erratically or they like kind of run off. They're poorly trained as racehorses too. That happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. So that was his first post-race track ride. First ride in over a year. Kind of Since hilarious. July of last year. Kind of hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> We all get to roam on one road or the other. You learn these life lessons that all sort of lead you to, wow, I need to be of service. Horses can heal people. Horses teach life lessons. Horses have been part of our culture from millennia. The bond is very, very close. And to be able to shepherd, guide somebody through to their own self-expression and self-improvement by giving them a horse that might have been lost, I feel beyond blessed.